Hello everyone, in this video let's have a look at the Pixel Extended ROM, it is based out of Android version 12 and it also has the latest Android security patch level as of now. First I will talk about the customization features this ROM offers and in the end I will talk about the performance, battery life and whether or not this ROM is worth your time. So let's get started. So here is the Pixel launcher basically and do note that this comes with a lot of Google Apps pre-installed so you do not need to separately, separately flash Google Apps. So this basically the pixel launcher as you can see here and there aren't really very much features around here as you can see here nothing special and here are the quick settings so let's go here and as you can see here you can disable the camera and mic access completely that is a pretty handy feature and initially it was merged under the internet settings but you can split it into Wi-Fi and mobile data like I did and these are the usual settings here as you can see and let's go dive into the display section quickly and there you will find the always on display apart from usual features like changing colors like boosted natural or saturated and you have option for smooth display and you can combine signal icons and you can enable to double tap anywhere on the screen to wake device let's go back and here under the display section under the lock screen section you will find other stuff like you can allow face unlock on lock screen which is pretty awesome and I regularly use that one and here under the main display you can either turn on always on or you can use these gestures but I use always on because I like it but do note that it will increase the battery drain you will face and under the system options you will have usual gesture settings like quick tap on the back to take screenshot and you have quickly open camera you have gesture navigation options like you can change the amount of sensitivity and swipe to invoke the assistant haptic feedback can be enabled or disabled and you also have the option for full screen gestures in case you want to hide the pill at the bottom and this IME button space below the keyboard could be hidden as well if you would not like to have that cap at the bottom but I like it and you have some advanced gesture options like you can have extended swipe actions as you can see here let's go back you have option for two button navigation and three button navigation so nothing special there I just use the gesture settings and you have the option for one handed mode wherein you can pull down to enable it and you also have one handed mode sh shortcut as you can see here but I disable that you have the option for partial screenshot and you have the option for swipe to screenshot and you can also hold down for assistant and you can double tap on the device to check it but I use always on display so I do not need to do that let's go back and here are the holy grail of settings as you can see here these are the status bar settings you can change what is shown on the status bar and you have clock customizations you can move it to the center or to the right but I keep it on the left and you can customize like you can auto hide show clock setting seconds show AM PM and there's also the option for date format like you can change where it is placed and what is the style of the date as you can see here but do know that it takes up a lot of space and here are the traffic indicators and you can show it on the status bar or the quick settings header I like to have it on the status bar and you have certain other options like this show privacy indicator so I turn that on but I disabled this VoLTE icon because it was taking up a lot of space and you have some other options like quick pull down vibrate on touch so with quick pull down you basically pull down from the right and it will go directly to the quick settings and here are some customizations for brightness slider and as you can see here now it is always shown and you can change the position to bottom as well for easier access you also have the option to enable or disable the auto brightness icon and here are some lock scene gestures like double type to sleep media art cover media art filter and you also have some pulse options like in enable navbar pulse but i do not have a navbar so no need for me to enable that as you can see here and here are some lock scene charging info i enable that and you can also force small clock on lock screen even if notifications are absent 
and here are some system settings as you can see here we already had a look at that so let's go back here you have the Monet engine settings so let's enable that here you can choose the red color as you can see here the screen color basically changed and let's go in further you can vibrate on connect on call waiting that kind of stuff you can also enable pocket detection and here are the power menu options so let me just quickly show these to you you can have a look at them and i'll talk about the performance so performance it has basically been the pain point for me on this particular room because it has been considerably slower than other rooms that i have used it is not that smooth so if you are someone who loves smooth animations or better performance i would stay away from this room but if you are someone who enjoys pixel experience and still want some customization options then this is a good option apart from that battery life has been good i get about six plus hours of screen on time on heavy use so that is good but performance has been kind of below par for me so that's it for this video if you like to click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more such videos 